the lecture i'm going to verify that y equal to a cos x minus b sin x is a solution of differential equation dx square y divided by dx square plus y equal to 0 so let's see the answer so first here writing the given y equal to a cos x minus b sin x so first here going to uh, calculate the differentiation first differentiation dy by dx so here a next is a cos x divide by dx minus b and here sin x divide by dx so a is the constant right there cost differentiation that is equal to minus sin x and here minus b is the constant writing there sin differentiation that is equal to cos x so this is the first differentiation now writing y dy by dx equal to minus a then after sin x and here b cos x after that uh, second differentiation we need to do that so this is now d square y dx square and here d minus a sin x divide by dx and minus d b cos x divide by dx so after that here my a is there minus a then sign differentiation that is equal to cos x and after that minus and here b and cos differentiation that is equal to minus sin x okay and after that this we can write minus a cos x minus minus plus b sin x now the next is here this we can write uh, so this is here y equal to a cos x minus b sin x y equal to a cos x minus b sin x this is the value of y now this is the value of d square y dx square or we can write d square y dx square so there i'm going to take the minus common a cos x and here b sin x so y value is now a cos x minus b sin x so this we can write d square y dx square so this is now minus and this place we can put here y and after that this we can write d square y dx square so this moving on the left so this become y equal to 0 so this y equal to 0 that come so here you can see d square y divided by dx square plus y equal to 0 so this is the way we can uh, calculate okay so first write the given do the differentiation with respect to x then you can get this terms second differentiation then you can get this terms so taking the minus because here y equal to a cos x minus b sin x after taking the minus here you can get this term so this place putting the value y and after that taking the left then you can get this terms so here this we need to verify it so it's a verified here you can write verified so i hope guys this video is the helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next week thank you